Hey Sugar Plums, spritzing with another mascara review and of course I want to do a whole bunch of rambling before I do the review but I don't think I'll have time because this review is going to be for Maybelline's Great Lash Big and then I also have the other one and I wanted to go ahead and kind of compare them as well as do an extensive review on the big one just so you get a good idea of the differences between them, if the big is actually better, what makes a difference, just the wand, that kind of thing. So I want to do that pretty quickly, so no rambling today. I know, you're going to miss my random spiel on whatever. Next time, I'll be sure to, you know, ramble. Okay, so, the packaging for, now, they're, Maybelline is really, really pushing this um, Great Lash big. It's kind of annoying, because it's like, come on guys, I mean, you're Grey Lash is supposedly number one mascara in the country. Now they're like reinventing it with a bigger one. So it's like, ah, enough of Grey Lash already. Um, I reviewed it on Clumps of Mascara a long, 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 long time ago. It, I think they gave it high marks, which I used it a couple months later and I didn't like it. So I don't really know where I stand. I know where I stand with it now. But the review on the blog is was written when I wasn't, you know, really involved with mascara reviews as I am now. So um, I have the packaging for both. And this one is the new one, of course, Maybelline Great Lash Big. You still have the um, pink and green packaging. And then this is just the regular one. The difference is, um, as far as color, is the one that's great is the big one I got in black. And then the one that is just the regular one I got in blue. Just because, you know, no, no specific reason. And the packaging... This one pretty much says that it has a bigger brush, bigger lashes, buildable volume. It says that right there. And yeah, the regular packaging says it conditions as it thickens, no clumps, no gloves. Yeah. So um, we're kind of getting the same general, there you are. We're getting the same general idea as to what the mascara is supposed to do. On the back, you're going to see the same thing. Um, they're both washable. Big is going to say that, oh, you know, the volume builds with each with each coat. No clumps, no globs. Great big brush plus volume building firmly. So basically they're, pu they're pushing the, the brush is what is the main difference. Formula-wise, apparently, I don't see any differences, at least as far as the packaging goes, on the formula. This is the regular one. Okay. And they, they're going to give you what the wand looks like on both. So this is the wand for Great Lash Big, and then this is the wand for um, the regular Great Lash, which I don't know about y'all, but they look like the same, except this is blue and this is black. So, yeah, that's that. Um, both of them can be found everywhere uh, mascaras are sold. And this I got 10% off at Target, so just trying to save some money. There's that. But other than that, they're both like $4.99, no more than $5.99 each. Okay, alright, moving right along, moving right along. Okay, now I have both of the mascara side by side. Up top is, of course, the regular one. On the bottom is Great Lash Big. And so far right now, all you see as far as the outside packaging is the fact that Big is, you know, big on there. So they're both the same size, you know, nothing's changed as far as the outside height and width. So bam, bam with that. Both the same color. Bam. Now let's take a look at the wands to see, you know, how much of a difference the bigger wand is. Okay, okay. And, you know, when I'm done with this video, I would love to get comments about what you guys think about Grey Lash. Is it overrated? Is it really a good mascara? You could care less. Just let me know because I, it's, I mean, the world apparently loves it. So I want to know if you love it too. Okay? Alrighty. So... Looking at the wand, and we see right away that, yes, there is a huge difference in size. You see that? Of course, up top is um, the regular, and then at the bottom is Great Lash Big. The bristles are a lot more, I mean, they're big, right? This looks so cheapy to me. The blue one, um, which is the regular one, looks kind of cheap. Um, and then Great Lash Big just kind of looks like... You know, the average mascara wand, it's not extra, extra big. And I don't think I have anything to compare it to. But, you know, it's not, you know, scary. Now, I'm a little biased towards smaller wands. Simply because I think they're more universal. Everybody doesn't have, you know... I, I don't have...
have small eyes and small lashes and small lids, but some women do. So the bigger ones, they're a lot more difficult to use. They aren't as friendly and trying to get in the inner corner, especially for my Asian sisters. You know, it's, it's a little more of a struggle with the large one. Smaller ones are a lot more forgiving because no matter what size lids you have, you can kind of get up in there. You don't, you don't make so much of a mess. You can get in your smaller corners. You can get on your bottom lashes. They're a lot more forgiving, so I automatically always run toward smaller ones. However, I can see why Maybelline came out with the bigger brush. Um, I guess it's to imply that it's going to give you bigger volume. Mm, we're going to see in a minute if that really is true. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply. Let's do um, just the, the, the regular great lash brush just to see how that, I'm going to do one coat, one coat, one coat, one coat, okay? And you can see on video how you think it looks. Okay, now my lash, my brows, y'all don't even look at my brows, I'm serious, it's like, freaking a murder scene right now on my brows, okay, don't look. Um, so right now my lashes, I haven't, I'm not going to use a primer, I haven't curled them, so both of them are good to go. And again, this is the original Great Lash in Royal Blue, which is a surprisingly really pretty blue, right? I'm going to just swatch it on my hand just so you can see. I mean it really is blue and this might be my first time using like a blue mascara so that's pretty freaking awesome right? Okay here we go. One coat of this and as you can see it's kinda just breezing right through my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and twirl a little bit. I always have the hardest time applying mascara to this eye so it may be kinda funkalicious. I add delicious to the end of everything like the best thing ever okay so there's that you know not bad for the first coat do that okay let's go ahead and apply great wash big to the other eye and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I'm twirling and twirling and it looks like it's giving me a little bit of curl. But then, you know, that just could be that my lashes on this eye are a little more curled than the other eye. Okay. So there we go with the first coat there. So let's compare first coats there and there. Okay. Can't really tell much of a difference right now, but I'm sure by the second coat we'll, we'll be able to see. Now I'm going to apply the second coat of the regular Great Lash to this eye. Again, the color is Royal Blue. And, you know, I don't think Great Lash is that bad. I mean, some people, you either love it or you hate it. I've come to understand with reviewing mascaras that this is one mascara that, you know, some people love and they'll stand behind forever. And then some people just outright hate it. So, you know, and that's with most mascara. Some people hate stilettos. Some people hate oscillation. Some people hate, you know. So, yeah. There we go. Everybody's looking for different things with mascara. So, when I do reviews, I try to be, you know, do general reviews. And I always give disclaimers. Like, if you have lashes like this, that'll work best. Okay. So, there we go with the second coat of um, Great Lash the Regular. Not too bad, right? The blue's kind of popping. I'm digging that. And then let's go ahead and do Great Slash Big. Ready? So, you know, I, I, I really like the wand of the regular one better just because I'm more partial to smaller wands. Um, I can get my inner lashes easier with them. And, um, you know, that's just my personal preference. However, I guess, you know, Maybelline's assuming that the bigger wand will attribute to... Uh, Bigger lashes, eh, I don't know. I guess it's a personal thing. But I do see a little bit more volume with that one. Can you guys see the difference? I'm trying to make my eyes big so you can see. And of course I have pictures on the blog, clumps of mascara. So you really will see um, what you, you know, better pictures of the mascara. For right now... I'm going to go ahead and say that um, Great Lash Big does give me slightly better lashes. I don't know how, considering all they did was change, was, all they changed was the wand. I don't think they changed the formula. Um, if you think they did, if you try both of them and it feels like the formula is better with Big, let me know because I don't feel as if um, 
the formula is any different or anything like that. But as of right now, yeah, it looks like Grey Lash Big is kind of kind of doing a big. <laughs> Such a nut. Yeah, so that's that. Um, love to know what you guys think about these mascaras. Yeah, like I said, some people love them, some people hate them. I've never found, you know, if I find a person who loves this mascara, I find like somebody else who hates it. So it's just really interesting. It is the number one mascara according to, um, I guess a lot of magazines. It's the number one mascara. So is it, you know, do you think it's number one? I don't know. It's not my favorite. I'm not going to buy it again. I mean, I'm really partial to other mascaras, but yeah, chickadees, that's that. Maybelline Great Lash and Maybelline Great Lash B. questions please of course email me at Brittany at clumps of mascara dot com and um yeah look, I really want to know what you guys think if you see the note if you see a difference if not be honest be like yeah they both look like crap or they both look good or I can't tell the difference let me know all right